she broke in two. All at once she seemed to go up on end, you know, and come down halfway, and then the after part righted itself again, and the fore part had disappeared. A few seconds later, the after part did the same thing and went down. I could clearly see the propellers, everything out of the water. Arthur Bright, Boat B. Suddenly, she took a top cant. Her stern came well out of the water. Then the next thing I saw was her poop. George Simmons, Boat 1 I was facing Titanic and could see her go down. I saw the lights go out, deck after deck. When the water got into the engine room, there was an explosion. And then I saw the Leviathan part in the middle. The stern rose high in the air, the bow less high. Then she went down slowly. Susie Weber, go 10. The ship sank steadily, until at the last when it plunged rapidly. Just before going down, it seemed to rip, breaking into three parts into which the ship was divided. First, the middle seemed to go down, lifting bow and stern into the air, then twisted the other way, throwing the middle up. Finally, the bow went under and it plunged stern last. Carrie Chaffee, quote 4. We watched her like this for some time, and then suddenly she gave a plunge forward, and all her lights went out. Her stern went up right in the air. There were two or three explosions, and it appeared that the stern part came down again and righted itself. Alexander Little John, boat 13.
there was a sort of explosion. We could hear the popping and cracking. Then the deck raised up and became so steep that you could not stand with your own feet in the deck. Alas, Abelsa, passenger on board. She took one final plunge and righted herself again. Thomas B. Dillon, passenger on board, Titan.